about Nix here, and we're going to talk about appropriate images that you can use from online to use in your work here in graphic design. So I'm in a Google search page. I want to search for, I'm just going to throw an animal in there, right, because I can find in, images of animals. Um, when I first type it in into Google here, um, I get all the hits, you know, like web pages and photos and videos of tigers. I want images specifically, so I'm going to click on that. I can get more specific here in the types of image. I want angry tigers or baby tigers, but I also want, I'm going to click right here where it says tools, and I want to choose large. I want large images of tigers. Now, you might not understand what that means, but what I'm referring to is the resolution of these photographs. So there are probably a bajillion pictures of tigers online. I want to look for one that is high resolution, one that's got at least a thousand by a thousand, right? And this one seems to be a really, really big one. Um, the other thing that I want to do here is I'm going to go to usage rights, right? So usage rights refers to what types of images I could use in my work. So there are some that are not filtered by a license. This will give you stock photo images and images that belong to someone else. I want to choose this labeled for reuse with modification. Actually, you could choose any one of these bottom ones, but labeled for reuse with modification. That's going to limit my search as well, but it's also going to give me images that no one's going to come back and say belong to them because I'm going to use them and modify them and make them my own in my work. So, um, I'm here to find a tiger and this one is humongous, right? 5390 that refers to the amount of pixels in width and height. That's a nice big image. I'm going to use it. When an image pops up like this in a search page, this is a thumbnail. If I were to save this here by right-clicking with my mouse and choosing Save Image As, or alternatively, I can hold Control and click on it and Save an Image As, you'll notice that the name of the file ends up as Download. Now, I'm going to change it. I'm going to call it Tiger Download so I can remember when I go into Photoshop what the difference is. I'm putting them on the desktop right now just so I can drag them and use them later. Um, and I'm going to hit Save. So this is, I know it's a thumbnail. I know it's small because it said Download. If it said Ingress, that's another one. That's an indication that it didn't save correctly. Now, if I click on it, this should give me the fuller version of that image. So if I hold Control and I click or right click and I hit Save Image As, um, I, now it's also showing up as Download. So what you'll notice here is that this image didn't get any larger. I guess, than the thumbnail that was actually there. Let me give you an example of one that's going to get a little bit larger if I click on it. So um, let me click on this one right here. So see how it's, it's larger than the thumbnail? So if I went and I control click here and I did save image as, I'm going to get like almost a file name or not a file name, a bunch of numbers. So I'm going to need to resize that, right? So I'm going to call that tiger too, because that's going to be, I'm going to pull that and use that in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. I'm going to go back to that first one that I had, which was this one right here. So this is coming from a site called Pexel. So let's say you, you know, I get thumbnail, I get thumbnail again. I really want this photo. I'm going to click on it here. It's going to bring me to the site where this photo exists. Now, two things I can do is I can download this photo and then save it into the folder that I would like to use it in. Um, I can also, now this is something I can do in Photoshop. I can take this image and I can drag it and I can drop it right in Photoshop as well. Now, technically this image isn't saved anywhere, right? And if I closed Photoshop, it would disappear because it's not saved anywhere in my files. But if you notice, now that I opened it up, it did work. So if I'm going to take the tiger out and put it in a different picture, that's an acceptable way for me to get it into Photoshop as well. All right, so here's this big guy. I'm going to open up two more. I'm going to open up those other two that I saved, those other tigers. Um, I've got this tiger here, and I've got this tiger here, right? Those are my two. And then this is my tiger download. Oh, this is one from a previous example that's tiger two. All right, so if you notice here, right, so here's Tiger 2. That was the second one I got. And then there is the, look how small that is. So that's the same version. This is the, the full size, the whole picture pulled. This is the thumbnail. And I could tell because, remember, it said images, or it might say ingress. So what does that mean? Well, I'm referring to the size of the image here. This is really itty-bitty tiny. And if I zoom in, let me grab out my navigator here. Here's my navigator panel. If I zoom in, see those pixels? I could see them right away. Even if it's this big, I can see those pixels. So there's that image, that's the thumbnail that I downloaded versus the full version, right? So this is multiple megabytes, 9.66 megabytes. And if I zoom in, I could zoom in for a while and still be pretty clear. This is going to be a really big, a really clear image for you, me to use in my work. So when you are downloading images, to recap, right, when you're downloading images from online, let me go back to my search. Um, when you're downloading images, make sure that you are searching for tools size large images. That's A number one, right? Then I would go into the reuse and change it to re labeled for reuse with modification, right? That's going to usage rights. I'm sorry, label for reuse with modification. 
This is a thumbnail, right? Like this one's a thumbnail. This is, would be the fuller size of the image. I can control click to save the image or I could take this image and I can drag it into Photoshop to use in a document. Okay, thanks for watching.